Are you concerned that your probiotics might be making your IBS or digestive symptoms worse? Uh, are you trying to figure out which probiotics you should be taking and which ones you should be avoiding? Um, if you have IBS and you have concerns about the probiotic you're taking and what you should be doing to most uh, benefit your digestive health, keep watching. Uh, we're going to address three reasons and the scenarios associated with those reasons uh, that probiotics will make your IBS worse. Now, of course, a lot of times probiotics can help your IBS. So we'll discuss, you know, the situations that uh, people with IBS uh might be in that will set them up for getting worsened from probiotics and what is in the probiotic uh, specific strains and different ingredients that might be in the probiotic that's making your symptoms worse so if that's something you're interested in keep watching we're all about helping you gain a deeper understanding of your health and what's going on with your body hopefully this video gets you a little bit closer towards that aim also wanted to point out that sometimes when I'm producing this content, uh, I get a statistic wrong or the name of something wrong, and almost always there's a corresponding blog article on our website, SW Integrated Medicine forward slash blog. You can find it there. Uh, those oftentimes go into a little bit more detail than the um, than the videos do as well. So please uh, check that out if you're interested. And um, it does take you know considerable effort to produce this content. So if you're liking the information, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you do have questions about any of the content, please ask it in the comment section uh, here or on the blog. Uh, that's why I'm producing the information for you to gain that deeper understanding. So ask the questions if you have them. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, three different ways that probiotics can make IBS worse or any kind of digestive situation worse. And the first one we want to look at it has to do with the uh, food that might be in the probiotic uh, that's being used to help support the overall microbiome and the probiotics that you're taking, helping those probiotics you know grow more and proliferate. Um, and so, so basically, if there's a prebiotic in your probiotic, then things could get worse for you if you have IBS or other digestive symptoms. And specifically, uh, it's when there's an imbalance in your microbiome called, we call this dysbiosis in general. Um, and then specifically, if you have a specific type of dysbiosis called SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. If you do, then each time you eat that probiotic, you're feeding a higher FODMAP food into your microbiome, which then causes those bacteria uh, that are in the wrong place, the small intestine, uh, causing them to grow more and expand uh, and create a lot of gas, which causes discomfort, cramping, and a lot of the IBS type symptoms. So if you have SIBO and your probiotic has a prebiotic in it, you're likely to get worse from that probiotic. Now, to find out if you have a pre prebiotic in your probiotic, uh, it might say that on the front, or you can turn it around and look at the back and look for things like FOS, inulin, artichoke, any kind of um, high FODMAP food, and you can look at look up what FODMAP stands for and find a bunch of different lists for that. Um, but uh, that's one reason why probiotics uh, can make you worse. Same thing for like fermented food. So we say, you know, if you're having IBS, maybe you have, you know, need to support your microbiome. So eat a lot of fermented foods. Well, that's true uh, for some people and really depends on what's going on with your digestion, uh, if that's going to be helpful or not. But um, things like yogurt and sauerkraut and things like that already have um, uh, prebiotics in them. So the lactose and the yogurt, the cabbage and the sauerkraut, these are high FODMAP foods too. And when you, uh, now most of the time, uh, having fermented, some of those uh, products are broken down. So the longer it's fermented, the less uh, lactose, the less uh, digestible um, fibers in the cabbage and things like that, because the bacteria have consumed it already. But um, uh, some of it you are you're you know still uh, active there, and so if you have SIBO or some sort of dysbiosis, it may make things worse uh, because they're gonna then consume whatever's left over of that uh, uh, fibrous source or carbohydrate uh, source. So um, so that's pretty much uh, number one for you know why sometimes probiotics or fermented foods make IBS worse. So the second way that probiotics 
probiotics can sometimes make your IBS worse is if you have a problem with histamine and lots of allergies. Uh, we call this histamine intolerance specifically, but you don't necessarily need to have histamine intolerance for your probiotics to be a contributing factor to making your symptoms worse. So firstly, let me explain a little bit about the histamine situation. So um, histamine is a, you know, the stuff that makes you have allergies and uh, it's a compound that, you know, can make your skin itchy. It does all these sort of negative things. Uh, some things, you know, it can be positive in some senses. It's the excess histamine that tends to create these negative uh uh, symptoms uh, that we that we associate with it. So, um, but when you have uh, problems breaking down your histamine, specifically in your gut, uh, it can lead to uh, higher and higher histamine levels. So, certain types of probiotics, or even you know the good bacteria that live there, can promote this histamine production. And so, if you're having a lot of histamine symptoms and think this might be you know part of your uh, IBS picture or digestive problem picture, then you may want to choose a probiotic that does not have the histamine promoting uh, probiotics in it, uh, histamine promoting bacteria in it. Uh, so these would be a lot of the lactobacillus, which almost all of the probiotics on the market have that. Um, one type of lactobacillus in particular does not have it. Uh, so, you know, if it has this one, you know, you might might be okay, and that's Lactobacillus plantarum. But you can also just avoid all the Lactobacillus in general and choose more like a Bifidobacterium uh, species, or some people even use a spore-forming uh, like Bacillus type of probiotic. So, uh, so the main point being, if you have a lot of histamine uh, allergy uh, type symptoms, you may be worsened by taking a probiotic if. You're not breaking down your histamine in your gut. It's a specific issue that some people have, usually genetically determined uh, phenomenon, uh, where you don't break down your uh, histamine through the DAO enzyme uh, that typically does this, uh, diamine oxidase. So the third and final reason that I've come up with for why probiotics can sometimes make your IBS worse is when you're taking a spore-forming uh, um, probiotic. So spore forming probiotics uh, actually have much higher potential of getting into your digestive tract. Well, they all get in there, but um, actually colonizing and reproducing because they're in a spore form, they're really protected against all the acidity and um, uh, adversity that they go through from your mouth when you swallow it to getting into the colon. Um, once they land there in a, you know, quote unquote safe uh, environment, they'll come out of the spore form and start growing. Um, and so sp th th there's advantages to the spore forming, uh, but usually they're bacillus, uh, different species of bacillus uh, that do this and they're soil based, uh, also known as soil based uh, probiotics as well. The thing is, um, when you have a really fragile uh, digestive tract, these spore-forming microbes can uh, create more problems. You want to use really small amounts of these uh, to start off with, especially if you have a more fragile digestive tract. If, um, if you don't, you know, if everything's fine as far as your digestion, as far as you know, and you just want to you know, add a little extra support, uh, then you'll probably be okay. But, you know, for people that have IBS, you know, by nature, you're going to have a little bit more fragile digestive tract. The spore-forming microbes like bacillus can actually uh, fortify your digestion, but you have to be careful. And taking too much too soon can make your um, can make your IBS worse. Okay, so that's all I have for you for this video: why probiotics make IBS worse. Now, of course, uh, it's just those three scenarios, and if they apply to you, you could be getting worse from your probiotic. Um, and so be sure to check the back of your bottle and the uh, ingredients to make sure those things are not in your probiotic. And um, in the description, I'll have a link to uh, maybe one or two different types of probiotics that are safe that don't have uh, any FODMAP or prebiotics. They don't have the high histamine producing microbes and no uh, spore forming microbes. Um, so you can check those out if you like. Um, and then uh, hopefully you like the video. If you do, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time.